Today's video, a couple of you guys have asked me how to restore your Kindle Fire first generation back to uh, Kindle Fire, the standard operating system on it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Right now, I am running Saijin Mod 10.1, uh, which is based on the newest Jelly Bean version, which is 4.2. And that's what I've got on here right now. I also have the Fire 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 uh, bootloader on here along with um, Torp Recovery installed. So if you want to do this, first thing I would recommend is if you have an Android backup, let me just show you where it is in your file. You've made this through Torp, but if you have one, which would be under Torp Backups, and one more, and you created a stock backup, I would just restore that through Torp Recovery. That's the way I would go about getting back to stock. That won't be fully stock. You'll still have your Fire 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 bootloader and you'll still have your Torp Recovery installed by doing that. Um, and you'll still have root access and all that kind of goodies on there, but you'll be back to stock operating system. So if you want to get back to it, get back to it that way by restoring that through Torp Recovery, that backup right there. Um, now, if you want to go full, absolute everything back to stock Kindle Fire, I'm going to show you how to do that and we're going to do it with a factory image. So let me just show you where to get that and what you got to do to it over here on my computer. Let's check this. Alright guys, so this is Amazon's site. I'm going to give you a link directly to this right here. But right here, we can scroll down to right here. It says download software update. And this is actually your full system right here for Android version or Kindle Fire version 6.3.2. So you're going to just click on that link and download the file. I've already done that. So let me just show you guys what you're going to do with it. So I downloaded it and it downloads and it looks like this right here. So it is a .bin file. What you're going to need to do is go into rename once you have it downloaded and you're going to change it to a .zip file. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this update .zip and then you're going to hit click on that to finish it and it says you're changing the file extension to a .zip instead of a .bin this is okay go ahead and hit yes and then what you want to do is take this and copy it to your um, your Kindle Fire and put it on the in the SD card so we'll go back to the fire now that I've showed you how to do this part and make sure it does change it to a type here of a zip file and like I said put it in your SD card so let's go back to the, the tablet and I'll finish this process for you so on your computer what you're gonna do on your tablet I should say. I'm just going to show you guys where I've downloaded this. This is your SD card. This is a file browser just so you can see where it's at. And you can put it anywhere on in your SD card. When you hook your tablet to the computer it'll just bring up that and that's where you want to set it. If you put it just in that folder it'll be somewhere down here. I put mine into Kindle Updates. So this is my update zip right there. That's where mine's located. So I know where to find it when I get into Torp Recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and power off the device and actually do a reboot. And we're going to reboot and then I'm going to get into, um, with Fire, 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 get into Torp Recovery here. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, well you should because you got into it to install a custom ROM. That's the main reason you'd want to go ahead and restore this unless you had a problem with your Kindle Fire in the first place and you just want to restore it. Um, but either way, I'm showing you with Torp Recovery. So the device is rebooting. I'm going to hold this button over here on the side. And then it's scrolling through my menus. And then it stops on recovery right there. And just by using the power button to scroll through that, just by holding it, and then it scrolls. And then when you let go, it selects. So it's going to boot us into Twerp Recovery. And then from here, this is a pretty simple uh, procedure. So let's just let this boot up. Um, like I've told you before, this does wipe everything. You will lose Fire, Fire, Fire. You will lose Torp Recovery. You will be back to the firmware that comes with the Kindle Fire, every last bit of it. So first thing we want to do is we're going to go to Wipes, and we're going to wipe Factory Reset, and go ahead and swipe across there to do that one. Um, 
and that is probably the most important one you want to make sure that you wipe that out it will get rid of all your settings and all your stuff wipe cache go ahead and swipe across to do that one and back we're going to do Delvic go ahead and swipe to do that one and back so we've wiped our stuff let's go back to here um, now that we've wiped that let's go ahead and go to the install and then we're going to go up a level because that's not where I want to be. We got to find my, like I said, it was under Kindle updates. And then update zip. And then go ahead and swipe across to flash it. Now, before you do any wiping or anything like that, you want to notice right here that my battery level is 97%, basically fully charged. You want to make sure your device is fully charged before you start doing any of this stuff. So you do have that right there. So we're going to go ahead and swipe across. And it is going to install the original operating system. So let's just let this flash. It looks like it's going pretty quick. It is a small file. It's only about 200 megabytes. So not a huge deal to flash this. But I'm going to pause and we'll come back to when it's wrapped up. All right, so we're actually done already. That was pretty quick. Let's go ahead and just go back up here with this button and go back. Well, that's pretty much the full thing. Now we're going to reboot and it's going to come back as stock Kindle Fire. So let's just go ahead and do that. Power off system. Actually, yeah, reboot system is what we're going to We're going to power off and then we're going to power back on the normal way. All right, so that powered off. Go ahead and hold the power button. And you have your classic Kindle Fire uh, boot logo right there. You're going to see now that we're, we shouldn't have Fire, Fire, Fire working anymore because that got wiped off and we should boot up into our standard Kindle Fire firmware. Let's give this a sec and uh, see what happens. Well, here you go, guys. That is it. The thing is fully restored. There's all my network access points here around my area. And there it is. You'd go ahead and register your Kindle Fire and everything will be back to stock. Let me uh, just log in really quick and show you that. Well, here you go. Fully booted up. That's, that's all of it right there. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can go into more. And go to... What are we actually under? Is it devices? Yeah, I think that's it. And there you go. You can see your current version right there is the 6.3.2. And that is it. You are now fully restored running the stock firmware from you were running a custom ROM on Android and now you're running back to stock firmware. That is my tutorial. That's the directions. Very, very simple. Again, links, all links are in the video description. Please check me out right here by my thumb at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.